So in simple terms, the difference between a heart attack and angina is that in a heart attack, uh, one has interrupted the blood supply to the heart for long enough that some portion of the heart muscle has died. Whereas in angina, one has had a temporary or short-term reduction of the blood supply to the heart to the point that there is some uh, discomfort, but there is no permanent damage. If we think of it in terms of the vessels of the heart, in a normal person, this is what the vessel looks like. We've got a thin layer of muscle and a lining that is nice and thin. That will cope with exercise very nicely and you'll have no problem doing exercise from the heart point of view. Over time, if one's cholesterol has been high and been smoking and things like that, cholesterol or fat can lay down within the artery and can partially block the artery. These arteries can supply enough blood to the heart when you're at rest generally, but when you try to exercise, there's not sufficient blood getting through these and that causes discomfort or tightness in the chest when you're exercising. By contrast, when it comes to heart attacks, a clot has formed on that fat and has blocked the vessel. Because no, no blood can now get through to the, disc, to the muscle beyond that, that territory will die if that is not relieved. So normally we would admit somebody immediately to hospital and unblock that vessel uh, with an angioplasty and a stent. So from a point of view of thinking about it, uh, angina is typically a tightness in the chest, uh, it comes on with exercise, it's relieved by rest, and if you try to keep exercising, it will stop you. It usually disappears within five minutes. By contrast, a heart attack, which is clearly much more serious, people often describe as an elephant on the chest. They're very compressed. It often comes on when they're doing absolutely nothing, and the pain lasts for longer than 20 minutes. Whenever chest heaviness lasts longer than 20 minutes, it's time to call an ambulance.